um, in that. That's the case we made into the election. Um, we've got those Scottish MPs now. And I intend to deliver on the promises that we made in terms of uh, the economy, in terms of the next stage towards transition and to make sure that the good jobs of the future. If you're struggling to pay your bills, you're not alone. Keena Starmer once claimed to be a champion for ordinary people, fiercely criticising the Tories for leaving households to suffer under sky-high energy prices. But now, just as the colder months approach, it's Starmer hitting you with a 10% rise in the energy price cap. Is this the same man who vowed to freeze energy bills and protect families? When Starmer stood at the podium months ago, condemning the Tories for their failure to protect working families from soaring gas and electric bills, he painted himself as the voice of the struggling masses. This government, he declared, is choosing to protect the profits of oil and gas companies instead of helping hard-working families. His fiery rhetoric had many convinced that he was different, that he truly had the people's backs. But fast forward to today, and the cracks in his promises are painfully visible. The energy price cap rise announced recently is not just a blow to low-income households. It's a gut punch to small businesses already reeling from the financial strain of the last two years. As one small business owner said, the last two years have been really tough with COVID, and now we're expected to pay these massive increases. Starmer, who once seemed to understand their plight, now stands silent as prices climb. Starmer's original energy plan sounded like a lifeline. He was going to hit oil and gas companies where it hurt and redistribute that wealth to freeze energy bills for struggling families. It made sense at the time, especially when oil and gas companies were posting record profits, while millions of people were choosing between heating their homes or putting food on the table. But now that he's comfortably seated in power, it seems like those promises were little more than empty words. The same man who attacked the Tories for protecting corporate profits is now overseeing policies that continue to squeeze ordinary people, with little explanation for this U-turn. Let's not forget, when the government under the Tories announced a similar price increase, Starmer was quick to slam them for failing to protect families. Yet now, his own government's actions mirror the very thing he once condemned. He made big claims about freezing energy prices and taxing oil companies to cover the costs. But here we are with a 10% hike and no relief in sight. The gap between what he promised and what he's delivering is becoming wider by the day. And what about his pledge to create great British energy within the first year of a Labour government? Starmer's plan to set up a state-owned energy company that would champion clean British power sounded like the perfect antidote to the dominance of big energy corporations. But where is it now? All we've seen so far are rising costs leaving people wondering if the Labour leader's promises were just smoke and mirrors. Starmer said while criticising the government's inaction on energy bills. But what does it say when he's making the same choices? This latest price cap increase doesn't just hurt people financially. It shows how disconnected Starmer has become from the very people he claimed to represent. The most frustrating part for many is that they believed him. The Brits had high hopes that Starmer was the leader who would bring fairness and transparency to an energy market rigged against the little guy. Instead, he's proven that, like so many before him, his promises evaporate once the heat of leadership sets in. His recent actions beg the question, is this really the man we thought would protect the British public from spiralling energy costs? Now, instead of freezing the energy price cap, we've got this rise. And it's not a small one. Average bills are set to rise to £1,717 from October, with predictions of a further increase to £1,762 by January. For many, this isn't just an inconvenience. It's a life-altering burden. And the most vulnerable, like pensioners who rely on winter fuel allowances to stay warm, are being hit the hardest. Starmer's Labour government has already scrapped these winter fuel payments for millions of pensioners, leaving them to face yet another freezing winter without support. What do you think about Starmer's energy price hike? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into British politics.